everyone and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, we're just going to start by applying some tape to the corners of the eyes. And then I'm going to go in with Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC Cosmetics and just apply that to the entire lid. This is just going to give us a nice clean coverage and nice base for our eyeshadows and just prolong the wear throughout the day as well. I first start off by buffing in a transition colour, so this one is by Bobbi Brown in the shade Camel and I'm just buffing that in circular motions from the outer corner to the inner corner. I wanted a nice gradient of colour, so this colour is so beautiful and I just thought it would be perfect for this look. And then taking another eyeshadow from Bobbi Brown, this one's in the shade Rich Brown. And firstly I just start by packing that all over the mono lid and then just switching up brushes to a nice fluffy blending brush and buffing that into the crease. And then just repeating that step over again until I'm happy with the pigmentation and the blending of the eyeshadow. Anytime that I do work with such dark colours, I always build up my colour. So I do use a lighter hand and just build up the colour until I'm happy with the intensity. I just feel as if I get a much better outcome if I do it that way as opposed to just going in straight away heavy handed and trying to blend out all the eyeshadow. To highlight the inner corner, I used Double Gleam by MAC Cosmetics, which is one of the best highlighters that I've come across recently. I'm obsessed with it. It's so pretty. For liner, I used Maybelline Gel Liner in Blackest Black and just created a wing to suit her eye shape. I did do a pretty big and thick wing because she does have pretty big eyes, so that was fine and that's what she wanted as well. Then I just went ahead and gently removed the sticky tape and voila! There's a nice clean wing. Magic. Okay, so now moving on to the lower lash line, I'm just blending in the shade Camel, which we used as that transition from the outer corner to the inner corner. And then I just used that rich brown shade, which is the same shade that we used all over the mono lid. And I'm just buffing that into the lower lash line from the outer corner to the inner corner. Then once again, using that same gel liner we used to create the wing, I'm just placing that into the lower waterline. Now that the eyes are done, it's time to move on to the face and I'm just using the Garnier Micellar Water and just cleansing the skin before we apply our makeup. Now for primer, I used the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer and just applied that all over the face. To colour correct underneath the eye area, I used the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Orange. I just firstly started out by applying it under there and then just buffing that into the skin using a small kabuki brush. Now this stuff goes a long way. You literally only need the littlest dot. It's so pigmented. So yeah, I think I used a little bit too much but I blended it away so it was all Good. Then I just quickly spritzed the face with some Fix Plus by MAC for a little bit more hydration and then it was time for foundation. I used the Studio Fix Foundation by MAC Cosmetics in the shade NC40. I just firstly started out by applying that with like a kabuki brush and then went in with my damp beauty blender and blended that out. I literally cannot do a makeup look without my beauty blender. I just love it so much. It leaves the skin looking so flawless and it pushes the foundation into the skin as opposed to just swiping it around on top and letting it sit on top and looking really cakey. For concealer, I used the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 20 Sand. I've been using this a lot lately. I'm like obsessed with it. I kind of go like on and off things. I go through little phases. So yeah, this is my phase at the moment. I just started out by applying that underneath the eyes and also down the center of the face, the cupid's bow and also the chin. And then just went in once again with my beloved Beauty Blender and just blended that out. Then I went on to contour and I actually done a little bit of cream contour and I use the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Fawn and I just placed that across her forehead, down her cheekbones, her jawline, underneath her lip and just a little bit on the tip of her nose. Once that's done, I then go in with my damp beauty blender and blend everything out so there's no harsh lines. I actually really, really like the shade of this concealer. It doesn't leave the skin looking like dirty or muddy and it's just like a perfect shade for most clients. Then to set the concealer underneath the eyes and also down the center of the face, I use the Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Light by MAC Cosmetics. 
To set the contour, I used the Hula Bronzer by Benefit and once again just ran that all the places that we placed the cream contour. So down the cheekbones, around the forehead, the tip of the nose, also underneath the lips and around the jawline. For blush, I used Makeup Geek's Infatuation. I started by blending that from the apples of her cheeks back into her contour. To highlight all the highest points of the face, I used Double Gleam by MAC. I do apologize about this footage because it did go blurry. That's how amazing the highlight is. It made my camera blurry. For mascara, I used the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara on a disposable spoolie wand and just coated the top and bottom lashes. Then I went ahead and applied some false lashes. These are by Model Rock and they are double layered and they're from the Feline Vibe Pack. I'm obsessed with them, they're so pretty. Now moving on to eyebrows, I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Duo in the shade Auburn and I just firstly started out by underlining the brow and just filling in any sparse areas, working my way to the front of the brow and flicking the brow hair upwards just for a more natural eyebrow look. To clean up and to define the eyebrows, I just used the same Maybelline Fit Me Concealer on a concealer brush and made them look nice and neat. She had such beautiful eyebrows, I was obsessed. Now picking up Double Gleam by MAC again, I'm just applying that underneath the brow bone for a beautiful highlight. For lipstick, I used Velvet Teddy by MAC Cosmetics. Then I decided to line the lips using Strip Down by MAC Cosmetics. This is a little bit darker so it gives the illusion that the lips are bigger. Then to finish off the look, I just spritzed the face using Fix Plus by MAC Cosmetics. And this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Show me some love in the comments. I would love to hear your feedback. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye!